Okay, so what we've done for you today is a quick breakdown of a single action shot. Now the real trick here is that it's going to be done all practically, all in camera with stuff that we've just thrown together here in the basement. Now, there's some fantastic resources out there. You can use Adobe After Effects and you can go to websites like Video Copilot and come up with a whole world of different tricks to make amazing action effects on the computer. But there's also some stuff that's really, really difficult to do digitally and is much better to do practically. Say, for example, you want an explosion in your shot, but you want that explosion to be bouncing off the walls, bouncing off your actors, all the debris to be falling and interacting with your scene, but you can't really do that digitally. And equally, you don't have a license to use pyrotechnics on set, but there are other options. So what we've done is we've thrown a couple of toys together and we're going to go out in the back garden now and we're going to show you how to put one single shot together using effects that are all captured in camera. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to break down a shot like that. There's no visual effects at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the colour grade and we're going to remove the letterboxing and we're going to break it down. So we've got Shaz just behind you here, dressed as a bad guy. Turn around. Shaz has got a little grenade, but actually it's just a tennis ball with some gaffer tape tied around it. What we've then got, we move through the shot, follow me. A load of rubble that's about to go off. This is just a box full of bits of cardboard, a couple of rocks, some charcoal, and a load of newspaper that we're going to set on fire. As we move up through the shot, you see we've made the back of our house look like some kind of a crack den. We've got bins, butane, we've got all kinds of crap all over the place. We've taped up all the windows with newspaper and a row of bottles. One of these bottles is made of sugar glass. It's obvious when you know, but not obvious when it's about to happen in shot. You just see a glass bottle take Shaz straight in the face. We've then got Mark. Mark's playing our good guy. He's trying to break into the crack den and make some arrests, but he gets caught by Shaz. Grenade gets thrown at his head, throws the bottle straight back at Shaz, and as that grenade goes off, follow me through, this is a homemade compressed air cannon. This is completely safe. It's going to go off straight behind Mark, and these things can be pumped up with a bicycle pump up to 8 bar which is enough to just blow a load of dirt and debris out of this transparent. This is just a coke bottle that's been gaffer taped onto the end and that's going to explode straight out and sell the effect. We've got an extension cable plugged into this. Cos is at the other end. Give us a wave Cos. There's a detonator plugged right into the end there and that is going to control the explosion at exactly the right time. It's crucial for a shot like this that we get the timing absolutely perfect but none of it is going to be done with visual effects. So let's get back to the beginning and play that through once more. Okay, so the thing that's most obviously wrong with that shot is that after five perfect rehearsals where Mark managed to take the plastic dummy bottle and plant it straight between Shaz's eyes, on the night he grabbed the sugar glass bottle and threw it straight on the floor. So you win some, you lose some. But there's an example of how to create a shot using entirely practical effects. That's actually rarely exactly what you want to do, to be honest, in the same way that it's rarely the right thing to do to create a shot that's created entirely out of digital effects, like George Lucas might. The best thing is a synergy of the practical and the visual effect. We just finished producing a movie called Zombies. It's an hour-long action B movie. You can see it for you on YouTube for free. It's a little bit of fun, but it creates a whole bunch of different effects using practical, visual, and a combination of the two. And of course, over the two years that it took to make that movie, we've developed a whole bunch of techniques that are unique to that project. For example, the air cannon that we just used outside is here. Uh, this sort of thing you can build in your garage, you can pick up all the parts from your local plumber's merchants for about 60 bucks and it's got interchangeable reservoirs so that you can you know, pump it up to different levels depending on the size of the explosion. Building that is just one of 10 tutorials that we're actually giving away along with the copy of Zombies itself on DVD in exchange for a $50 donation to our latest project which is called Explore the Underwater Realm. There'll be a link at the end of the video or a link below the video if you're here on Vimeo. Um, it's all different ways to get involved but there's 10 tutorials plus a copy of the film to show you how to add some practical movie magic into your indie action flick.